Hey guys, in our previous video, we talked about how to deliver a switchboard project digitally using EcoStructure Power Commission. In this second episode, we will continue the storyline, looking at how data created in project phase in EcoStructure Power Commission can be exported to facility expert, because this data is absolutely crucial for operating and maintaining the electrical equipment. Exporting data from EcoStructure Power Commission to Facility Expert takes just one click. This click creates the digital logbook for the electrical equipment. But to whom am I going to export the data? Here we have two scenarios. The first case is if, as a panel builder, you're involved in the commissioning work and you potentially want to maintain the relationship with the contractor or end user after the project is completed, such as maintenance, on-demand services or return visits. In this case, you can export the project to your own facility expert account first and then share the digital logbook with the contractor and end user later. I will export to my own facility expert account. After a few seconds, I receive a notification on my smartphone. The data has been successfully exported to Facility Expert, including the switchboard reference, serial number, location, all of the devices and all the documents previously loaded in EcoStructure Power Commission. In addition to what you had in EcoStructure Power Commission, Facility Expert provides two additional types of data, a maintenance template and the product manuals. These are super useful for maintaining and operating the electrical equipment. The maintenance template is automatically created based on the exact model of the equipment. It provides you with relevant guidance and procedures to maintain the equipment at a given time interval. The product user manual or instruction sheet you get here is always the latest available version. You probably didn't realize that we have eliminated all the paperwork that you need to operate and maintain the electric installation. That's awesome! Now. Faris can use the community function in Facility Expert to transfer the data to his customer so that everyone is able to receive the same information. Carlos will receive an email to download Facility Expert in order to receive the data. All right, we just went through the first scenario. And what if Faris didn't click that export button to export the data to any facility expert user, what will happen when someone flashes that QR code? The second case is if you don't want to be involved in any post-project activities. In this case, your contractor or end-user customers can flash the QR code to take over the digital logbook. Actually, by flashing the QR code, a wizard is displayed to guide this user to take over the information and become the manager of the assets in Facility Expert. Following this asset creation wizard, the person who flashed the QR code, supposedly the end user needs to complete some basic information such as site name, panel name, location before taking the ownership. But keep in mind, the full documentation library and projected data is only accessible to facility expert users who have access. Flashing that QR code conveniently brings up all the information in facility expert. This is a very secure way to archive and manage all the important documentation throughout the entire life cycle of the equipment. Great! I hope now have a better understanding of how the export function works in different scenarios. Another important tip. EcoStructure Power Commission and Facility Expert are connected through a secure cloud repository. Any changes in EcoStructure Power Commission can be automatically synchronized to Facility Expert. Here's an example. If I add a new document in EcoStructure Power Commission, the changes can then be synchronized to Facility Expert so that when my customer opens Facility Expert, he receives the updated documents. Great! Hope you enjoyed this video. We will see you next time in another episode. Thanks for watching.